Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Matt the Barber from Matt's Hair Studio. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about all the clippers, tools, and products that I keep in my station to use every day. Let's get into it. So this is my station right here. This is actually in my house. That's my backyard right there. Um, ever since COVID, I started cutting at home. I just never stopped. They opened back up in June. I was cutting in Jersey. I live in Philly. Me and my clients were both cool with the with the arrangement, so we, we just stayed with it, man. If it works, why why move? Why leave, you know? When COVID came around and barbershops closed, I ended up just bringing my clients at home. I set up this whole thing while COVID was going on. I didn't have this before, you know, trash can. Got the mat here, barber chair. I need to get a new barber chair. It was used when I bought it, so it was over with when I bought it. My clients were cool with it, I'm cool with it. Let's just keep it here, you know? This is literally the same station I had when I was at the barber shop. So yeah, I'm just gonna go into it. I use basic combs, black diamond comb, and then I use two ball combs. I use this one for certain things. Pretty much for the beard. This one is good for scissoring, real good. These shears right here, all of these shears are Kabad brand. Kabad, he's based out of Camden, New Jersey. He sells some quality shit. He sells straight blades, shaving gel, you name it. This one right here, this is my heavy duty buddy right here. This thing, man, it cuts through anything. I use this mostly for real thick hair. These things will chop trees. These shears, they're a little dull, but I like them that way because I don't use thinning shears. I'm not against thinning shears. I feel like thinning shears are good for beginners. They're good for thinning out hair. But if you really want to thin out hair the right way, learn to use some regular shears, man. When you learn to use these things, it's so much better, man. I'm telling you. Definitely get get your thumb work right, man, because that's what it's all about. But yeah, these these aren't too sharp. They're a little dull, so I'll just use them for thinning. They don't chop chunks out, you know? These, these right here, the ones I usually use. I use these for most of my cutting. Like I said, these are for the chunk cutting, but these will get the detail. These are for thinning. This is for detail. This is for chunks into the clippers. I got two slim lines right here. Just in case one dies, it's nice to have a backup. But I don't use these for too much. I use these maybe for little kids, anybody that has sensitive skin, mustaches. I hate to cut somebody's lip. Nobody wants to come get a haircut and have a chopped up lip every haircut. Even good for balding out. It's not the best motor for balding out, but if I need to buy another clipper because the, the motor died on me from using it for heavy duty work, fuck it. They go for about 70 bucks, something like that. So you know what I mean? Like it's a cheap clipper. It gets the job done, it's cordless. As you can see here, I don't have many things plugged in. The only thing I have plugged in is probably my blow dryer and my Oster Fast Feeds. Everything else is cordless, as you can see. Retro T-Cuts. Now these clippers right here, man, these clippers I really, really mess with. Way better than the cordless detailers that Wall came out with. The one thing I don't like about it is you do have to sit it on dock. These clippers do have to be put on a dock here in order to charge which is a little annoying. If, if they're dying and you want to use them, you can't use them. As opposed to the slim lines, I could plug it in. It plugs in right there, like a phone. Plug that thing in and get to cutting, you know? But these, if they're dying, I cannot use them, which sucks. There's a site, uh, curlsponge.com, shout out to curlsponge. They actually sell a detailer. It's like the corded detailer, but without a cord. And you charge it with an Android charger, which is very convenient. I'm gonna look into them. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy a pair of them and I'll do a review on them. I think they go for about 160 with the promo code. Uh, the Babyliss, um, I, yeah, these Babyliss trimmers right here, man. Um, these are some beasts. Like these things, I don't know what I would do without these things. They, they cut through anything, man. These, now these are the wall balding. Like it's a magic clip, magic clip, clipper, but I have the wall balding blade on there, which makes it bald out like the wall balding and it makes it cordless. You know, I like cordless. I don't want a cord. That thing's in a way. It's much more convenient than I have a cord. I know that corded clippers have more power, but it's just a convenience. And if I need power, I got these guys. These things right here, um, these balled out really good. It makes me not even need these because they balled out so well. But I don't like to do wear and tear on clippers that I use for shaping up. Because when you wear these things down, the blade gets dull and then your shape ups become whack. You know what I mean? That's something to think about. 
these are definitely a pair of clippers you should have if you're really trying to take your craft serious these are the clippers to shape up with right now this right here this is my daily driver right here i use this thing for most of my work right here I use this for uh, most of my day, most of my day at work. Um, I'm usually using these. These right here, these are the magic clips. These are my backup clippers right here. Um, if this battery is going low, use this one. You know, you always need a backup when you're working with cordless clippers. Um, now these, these actually I cut faster with. Um, I don't know if it's because of like the fact that I can flick faster with these or what, but I, I do cut faster with these. They have the same blade on them. This is a Wall Senior Wall Magic Clip, but they both have Wall Magic Clip blades. If you look closely, I don't know if you guys can see it, it has those little ridges in it, little tiny ridges, as opposed to this blade right here. They are the same teeth of a regular wall senior, but there's something about these teeth on this clipper. It really catches the skin for some reason. And like, there's something about it. I can't use them. It's grabbing people's skin and pull. Now, like I said, this one it has that senior, you know, the senior teeth right there but this is the wall balding blade. I even took the lever off of it right there. You could see that it's just one purpose, just for balding, boom. And the reason I do that, it's better to use this as a workhorse because it has a stronger motor than most trimmers. You're trying to use shape up clippers and it's gonna wear it down. It's gonna wear your motor down. You need a workhorse. This is my workhorse. I'm really considering getting another pair of these cause these balled out so well. These also have deep teeth in them, probably deeper teeth than the, uh, the wall balding blade. Yeah, you can see how deep the teeth are, you know? Now, if you look at this one, the teeth aren't that deep. Let me let me put them side by side to compare them. Yeah, if you look, these teeth are much deeper. And what that means is it can cut thicker hair. That thing will get right through it, man. I'm telling you, these things are a beast. So let's get into the BGRVs. Since everybody sees these things and they want to bring up the Supras. Now, the Supers are cool, man. The Supers actually have a stronger motor than these, but don't sleep on these, man. People confuse these with the BGRCs. This motor is strong as hell. Like, I'm telling you, these are almost super level. They don't come cordless. I bought the battery for them, and then I bought the charger for them. Here's the charger right here. The charger, I believe, is a hundred dollars and then the battery is maybe 150 yeah, the super zr twos you can just get those cordless straight up one package cheaper than then you then you can get these but i would recommend getting these these clippers cost 200 bucks and then it's an extra 150 for the battery and the charger now you're paying 350 as opposed to 300 for the super zr twos but i would recommend these only because i like the way they feel in my hand man like these just feel good. The Supras just feel so big in my hand. They're just not for me, man. There's just something about them. Like, I just like the way these feel. These these have a good feel. Both made by Andis, but it's uh, apples or oranges, you know? Because as you can see here, like, I don't do the Andis Masters. These are the clippers that I use most, and I don't have Masters. Masters, I would say, would have more power. Um, but there's something about them, I guess. Um, I don't like the weight of them. They don't feel good in my hand. You know, that's really important to me as a barber. Like, I just like something to feel good in the hand and uh i don't like too much weight you know it just feels more comfortable holding knees and so that's what i stick with but if i need something with power and i really need to get into something my bgrvs man these people sleep on these i'm telling you these are all the blades that i have for my bgrvs these blades are not fucking cheap these blades are probably 30 to 40 dollars a piece i have all sorts of sizes ranging from zero to four now the numbers are really weird they're gonna say some weird shit like uh three three fourths but um when it comes down to it this is a four this is the outliner and then you got the triple zeros which of course is just a triple zero which is closed this is the zero a which is that right there zero a that would be that cuts the same just cleaner faster this is why i have these blades they cut faster and they cut cleaner um then you have the number one but if somebody asks for a number one, honestly, I I, well, I guess, if, yeah, if they ask for a number one on top, I'm giving them that. But when it comes to like fading and like putting a number one on the side, I'm going to use this one. You could take a one and a half like this, put a guard on here, put a one and a half, boom. That will fade. This, whatever line you make with this blade right here, that will fade that right the hell out. Now you got the 1A here. Then you have the real one and a half here. This is an Oster blade. A couple of my blades are Osters. Most of them are Andis. And then we have the one and three fourths. This is an Ultra Edge blade. Just like this one. 
These are both Ultra Edge right here. Everybody says like Aster has the best blades, but Andis made these Ultra Edge blades, man. And uh, these things cut like butter, bro. These things cut so nice, it's crazy. And we have the number two, three and a half, which I would say cuts exactly like a three. If you're gonna use a three guard from a wall, this will cut maybe a little shorter. I, will, I guess I would compare it to more of a uh, Andis guard, Andis magnetic three. Uh, if somebody asks for a three and you give them that, they're not gonna ask you to go back to work. Sometimes if you use the wall three and they ask for a three, they might ask you to go back in there and do something else like a two and a half or a two. So this saves you some time. You know, you, you bring this down, they're gonna like that nice even three that they get. And then you have this guy. Um, this one, I don't know what's up with this. I've seen Oster blades. This is an Oster blade, but it's very, very pointy, man. I've seen Oster blades just like this where, like, it's not so pointy. But this thing, like, you really got to be careful with. You see how sharp that is. But I've seen ones, I guess, Oster uh, realized how sharp they were making these and made these a little dull. I guess I could go in there with some sandpaper and kind of dull these things out because uh, these things are sharp, man. Cuts like a four. It says three and three fourths, but it cuts like a four. As you can see, it's, it says 13 millimeters on there. And if you look at my number four, 13 millimeters, that's my number four. You see it, 13 millimeters. So if it's cutting 13 millimeters, it's cutting like a four. And like I said, with the three, if somebody asks for a three, they'll be happy with this. They ask for a four, they're gonna be happy with this. Trust me. It never goes wrong. This is some of my products here. Cool care. You always need some disinfectant spray. Of course, you need some powder. This is where I keep my alcohol, my alcohol spray. A duster. I like keeping a duster on deck, man. It just keeps my safety clean. You know what I mean? It keeps my clippers clean. Spray for my alcohol. Uh, shout out to Kabad. This is a shaving gel. I'm telling you, I, I've used Elegance. I use many shaving gels. This is the one, man. If you need some shaving gel, go to kabadgrooming.com kabadgrooming.com these two products right here i use for curling if i have some real tight curls i'll use this this is good for like moisturizing and stuff like that and then i have this this is a foam wrap lotion they're both hair lotions this is like a foam wrap lotion this comes out like lotion this comes out like foam more of a mousse i'll use this for looser curls and then of course you need the alcohol hand sanitizer i do my dyes and stuff enhancements and stuff i like to use kiss express Gotta have gloves on deck, you know, COVID, you gotta be safe. Uh, always keep some clips like that. I always keep clips like that on deck. And this stuff, this is some hair wax. This is some good stuff right here. It's a little pricey online. I think it's like 18 bucks. Immortal NYC. This is some good hair wax. You guys will love this. Always keep a brush like this around. This is very good for volumizing. Let's talk about my shavers. Now I have two shavers. Now, the reason for that is because this shaver right here is a fucking beast. There's some people I don't I don't use the shaver with at all. Skin is too sensitive. They'll break out. I'll just hit them with this. Close enough. Good enough. They don't break out. So I'll get it closer with this, but this is the closest. But they're both beasts. These two, they, they cut a lot of like... I just think of this one as like a lightweight feather version of this. They're both good shavers though. And this shaver and Babble this shaver usually have this uh elegance brush right here i got a couple of them I, i'm not really too crazy about this handle i'm used to it at this point i like these bristles on here these br bristles really get the hair off real easily like if i'm doing a ball fade it gets the hair out of my way so i can see what's going on real good brush so right here we have the oster fast feeds now this these things you, you might be confused as to why this blade right here is white ceramic blade these things are custom right here like i said this is my only corded clipper here the blade that it comes with is metal and it doesn't come zero gap like that. You can see how close that is. Now, this clipper, let's say you start out a fade, you start it out with a, with a trimmer, bring your real ball. This thing will take that line out easy. This is literally all I use it for. As you can see here, I only have wall guards. Wall guards is probably the reason why I even use wall. I'm not crazy about the magnetic guards for Andis. These guards, man, the way they clip on is perfect. I just love the way these work. I love the half guard. I love the one and a half guard. They just give me a nice blend and it just works well for me. When I started cutting, that was, these were the clippers and clips that I started using. Not exactly these ones. They didn't come out with these till later on, like with the metal clip on there, but I was using wall guards. Well, that's what I learned with. So obviously I'm gonna be more comfortable with them. I tried it all, trust me. And I'm like, this is just what I'm comfortable with. It's all personal preference, apples or oranges. And it's a wall, you know, same shit. These, I don't even have a guard for. The magnetic guard, they say fits on these, but it doesn't. I'm telling you, you put a purple magnetic guard on this motherfucker right here and that thing will be loose and it's not gonna cut right. 
So there are guards you can use for these that will work all right, but I don't need guards. I just, I, I use my guards on my wall. And then when I'm dealing with bear blade on with a clipper on the skin, I'm using these. All right, so there you have it. Those are the clippers I like to keep in my station and use every day. I'm Matt the Barber from Matt's Hair Studio. Like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys.